Hey Fiona, my name uh, my name's Connor Blakely. I'm uh, I'm a player at the Fremantle Football Club. How are you going? I'm pretty good. How are you today? I'm pretty well. I'm just sitting in um, in a hotel room in the Gold Coast in the hub at the moment. So yeah, rub it in, just rub it in. Okay, <laughs> yeah. While well, we're freezing our asses over here, yeah, keep continuing. <laughs> and uh, the weather's been fantastic the last few days. I've been able to get okay. out in the way for a few surfs as well. Yeah, so. Sure. Life is yep. going. Life is actually going pretty well. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind being back in the ones at the moment. I'm not playing in the in the main team at the moment. So if you could potentially get Justin to get me back in the ones team, then sure. I'll be then I'll be happy. Then life Anytime. would be. Yeah, you pop them on. No, no problem. On my notes, I've actually got that you are an interpreter <laughs> and you're a translator for the one and only Mark McGowan. <laughs> And and I've actually watched quite a viral video of you when uh, Mark McGann's talking about eating a kebab while going for a oh, run. Sorry, that's funny. That was hilarious. Did you um did your life change much after that one? Um, let's just say um I understand how you guys feel now because yeah. uh, for the last three months I have been chased shops for selfies, I have been yelled at, at, at when I've gone through to McDonald's to buy some chips or something, I have, <laughs> I have even had selfie, asking for selfies, yeah. um, oh my god, you've got to go free shopping, without looking, I have a photo, I'm going to cry now, I'm just going shopping, you know? That is so funny, because I'll have to admit, I haven't really watched too many of the updates that Mark has given, especially on the coronavirus updates. I usually just hear it through people because everyone just speaks about it so much. But that was probably, that was the one video that I watched probably three times over because he is absolutely losing it, talking about kebabs and how you can actually go for a run and get a kebab. And you've, I don't know, obviously you're done at your job and you've just done it perfectly. Every, t every, time, he, every time he stops, to t stop talking, stop. you stop with him, and then you start That's again, and then you stop. That's my job. That's oh, my it's, job. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. You couldn't have done it any I, better. <laughs> I, I thank you. I, I just become him because that's what I do. Yeah. I'm an interpreter. I become like um, the person who's speaking. Yeah. And all I can think of during this whole thing, you know, when he's laughing, I'm thinking, oh my God, he's going to be serious in a minute. How the heck am I going to be serious? But I, I did. He then became yeah. serious, and I became serious. But God, it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so. The reason for the call anyway, Fiona, is just um, I just wanted to thank you for your contribution towards the Forever campaign that the club has started up. Um, and just, yeah, we really appreciate um, what you've done. And yeah, as you're a part of, part of the lifeblood of the footy club, and we really appreciate it. And Absolutely. Here it's got, you're a 20 year member as well. So uh -huh. 20 years of um, blood, sweat and tears and hopefully some good times. Maybe next time Mark McGowan gives another update, you can maybe get him to give us a bit of a shout out during his next press conference. Maybe. There you go. Well, look, don't you worry, because I mean, Mark's a doctor, he's a doctor too, so it's he all good. Is. Very, very um, good.